this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. Good day, I'm Dennis Estopase and welcome to Wednesdays with John Mangan, a podcast to be anchored by John Mangan, a columnist for the Business Mirror newspaper and who operates a website titled mangononmarkets.com. Mr. Mangon will share with us one of the many pieces he wrote for his column titled Outside the Box, which is published every Tuesday and Thursday in the op-ed section of the Business Mirror. We hope you enjoy your Wednesday with John Mangon. 2020. Everything changed. The 20th century, in particular the last half, was the most amazing in all of human history by whatever standard you might choose to measure. If you chart global population growth, the quality of life, and technological advances, the line is relatively flat with a slight upward trend until you hit the early 1900s. But that trend exploded after World War II. We have witnessed the end of diseases that were a plague to humanity for millennia. The equally long dream to walk on the moon was achieved. Goods and living conditions that were only available to the ultra-rich a hundred years ago became commonplace. Half of the world's population holds in its hand a device that provides communication, information, and even entertainment that was not possible even to the richest of the rich a mere 25 years ago. The last half of the 20th century saw the world live under the abstract that threat of nuclear annihilation, yet the era of colonization stretching back to ancient Rome also ended. Never in human history was there a greater number of people free and living under self-rule. Also never in human history were ideas and education allowed to flow freely to virtually all social and economic groups. The rights of those classes of people, particularly women and children, traditionally denied by governments, were defined and strong efforts were made to uphold them. Yet the 21st century ushered in a period that is almost a contradiction to the glorious days of the 20th century. War between nations has become increasingly less defined and more brutal. Maybe in response, or maybe not, Organized terrorism by many different global groups has shattered the dreams of peace that we thought would come with the end of the Cold War. This new century also brought a gradual but steady and disturbing realization in the people that the economic utopia promised by governments in the last decades of the 1900s was unsustainable and in fact might have been somewhat of a magician's illusion. While focusing on the one hand the supposed wealth creation, the other hand was concealing the trick. The world economy has always had periods of economic upheaval, but the 2008 global financial crisis was not an event. It was a result that affected literally everyone on the planet of a total and complete systemic failure. Most times, the problem can be corrected by changing the guy running the machine. In this case, it turned out that the machine was broken, regardless of who was pushing the buttons. This year, 2020, has proven with little doubt that globalization of production and trade was far from foolproof, not only because too many fools were running it. It is the old thought that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. For a variety of reasons, not least of which was a lack of truthfulness and transparency by the Beijing government, the global supply-demand chain was shattered in 2020. The most important lesson of 2020 is that nations like people cannot be dependent or must be less dependent on others for survival and the ability to prosper. Nations like individuals must be able to close and lock their windows and doors when necessary. But to do that, 
countries must adopt a variation of Warren Buffett's I buy on the assumption that if they close the market the next day and not reopen it for five years. Initially, after the pandemic subsides, there will be an attempt to return to the good old days of 2019, but that is will not be like getting back with your ex-spouse after being betrayed and now keeping your guard up and thinking about relationship options. Everything changed. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast. For a broader look on business, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.